What's up guys, Gary G back again for another pomade and it's another gel type water base and it's actually a pretty cool product. Um, it is the collaboration between Cutthroat Supply Company and Hedgeline right here. Very, very cool stuff. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so here we have the tin for the Cutthroat Supply Company and Hedgeline collab gel pomade. And you can see that it's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful purple color tin. Exactly the same tin that the Gonzo water base came in except for this one's purple. The label on the front, as you can see, is a lion with some sweet hair, big old muscles and tattoos. On the left side, you see AUS stands for Australia, then USA on the right. Down at the bottom, CTSC is Cutthroat Supply Company X Hedge Lion. On the back here, you can see the Cutthroat logo here. It's made in Melbourne, Australia. Then you have all your ingredients. It's a water-based gel type formulated by Cutthroat Supply Company for Hedgeline. It's got both their websites there and it's for external use and not tested on animals. And the product on the inside is absolutely clear. One of the negatives is it's kind of a short pour. It's at least up to where the threads are, but it does not go all the way up. Scooping it out is really easy. It's kind of a thick product, but nothing too crazy. Spreading out in the hands. I spread it a little bit there. It's a little tacky. You see there, nothing crazy. All right, so as you saw, it is a typical gel type water base made by Cutthroat Supply Company in Australia for Hedgeline, the website we all love and support the most. Uh -huh. So if I have to complain about anything, it's the fact that this bad boy right here is a sticker. Not only is it a sticker, it's a sticker that you can't get wet. I was a little bummed out by this because Josh, the brewer of Cutthroat, he screen prints all of his, his designs onto the tin, so I was really hoping to see that on here. Um, it's not a make or break thing for me, but once this gets messed up, it's just gonna fall right off, you know? Anyways, the product is described as to have a uh, clean, fresh scent. I never smelt anything like it. It's a very light, clean, fresh scent, and it's very nice. You don't really smell it through the day. You might get a couple of whiffs here and there, but it's nothing that's, um, that's too strong. Like I stated before, it's got a little bit of resistance when you scoop it out. Totally clear and spreading it out in the hands is immediate, but you still feel a little tackiness. So application is good. I have damp hair and there's a little bit of resistance on there, but that's good. It's gonna give us some good hold. Um, it's still easy to spread it throughout your hair. There's nothing that's gonna stop you from doing that. So it is nice. So there's this dry kind of stickiness to the product that I'm not totally fond of. Um, it doesn't really work against you, but the feeling of it is just kind of, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, combing it's really simple, nothing too crazy. So everything's slicked and parted. Um, there's this dryness feeling to it that I was telling you about before that I just not crazy about. But uh, nonetheless, it is still slicking down as if it wasn't dry. So, hey, who cares, right? I think I'm gonna call that done. So today, it was not working for me. Um, that dryness that I said doesn't inhibit me to get a good uh, good style out of is actually inhibiting me to get a good style today. Um, now I'm sure some might say, oh man, Gary, your hair looks great. It does, but mm, it's not exactly what I was hoping for. Right now it looks pretty good. Like I said, the dryness kind of, it kind of sucks, but no big, huge deal. Um, I think that what it might have had to do with is that the first time I styled with this, I had more water in. And um, I think that it's, being that it's a lighter product, you don't want to use a lot of water, but you almost kind of need to, to give it that, that slickness that it's missing because of the dry texture. Now when this thing dries up, it does dry up like a typical gel, water-based, but it's not as crispy as you would think because it's not a super heavy product like Suavecito Firm. Um, so there is no helmet head, but it absolutely dries and you will need water to recomb this for sure. 
Um, the scent is almost gone, really. Um, it's not too present right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the hair. I'll show you what I got. All right, so this product is available exclusively at Hedgeline. Obviously, it's a collab with Hedgeline. And it is 20 bucks, which is kind of steep for this, especially because it's kind of a short pour. Um, I think it says, it doesn't say anywhere on here that it's four ounces. I'm thinking you get around 3.5 because it is a short pour. And that, that kind of sucks. You can barely see here, but it goes up to about the threads. So overall, it's a decent gel type water base. Um, it's definitely not gonna be anything new. If you buy it, buy it just because it's gonna support hedge line and it's gonna support cutthroat. Just be a great everyday pomade if you're not bothered by the fact that it's $20. So overall, decent pomade, a little steep price. Kind of sucks that the design isn't actually printed on the tin, but hey, I can get over it. Um, overall, still a great gel type pomade. I'll definitely use it till it's gone. If you want it, go ahead and head over to Hedgeline. Tadashi's got it there in stock for 20 bucks. Fast and free shipping included. So as stated before, I've got a couple more reviews coming up here. Next in line is gonna be Bad Panther Water-Based uh, from Malaysia, I believe. And then after that, I am gonna get into Alt Grooming's Classic Pomade. I think it's about time. So as always, thank you guys so much for all the people that stuck around to the end. Thank you for supporting my videos and supporting me and helping me grow this channel to be as big as it is. Like I said in the last video, just got over 800 subscribers. That's really awesome. I'm shooting for a thousand. So if you can share, spread the word out about this, it would really help me to get to a thousand. And I really appreciate all the support that everybody gives me. I really do mean that. All right, guys, thank you for all your continued support. You guys rock. I really appreciate you guys always coming back to my channel. Peace out. Have a great day.